we're gonna take some thallo green. If I can get it open, let me set it here. Some thallo green. I'm gonna need a oh, big pain. If you want to. If you're really feeling that callous. Oh, thank you. Make sure that's dry. So we're going to get some thallo green. I'm going to get my cat back on here. And we shall take a touch of titanium white. I'm almost running out. I'm going to have to get some more. Just need a touch of it. And hey, that's Jess. Look at her. She's on stream. She's watching me. Yeah. Say hi, guys. Hi. She redeemed the people clown and we couldn't hear it. Um, okay. And we're going to take a touch of the cadmium yellow here. This is cadmium. Yeah. Cadmium yellow light. That's the one that I've got. And we're just going to make it work. Just a touch, you don't need a lot. Let me show you really quick up in this camera. Just how I have my paint set up here as we get things started. So what we're gonna do is, oh, she redeemed hydrate. All right. Good thing I've got something to hydrate with. <laughs> Ooh, that's not too bad actually. No, it's not. Mm. It's the uh, squeeze, the squeeze stuff that you would warm. In water. Oh, the it's just meal. Yeah, well, it's kind of like meal. It's better than meal. So there's no alcohol in there, is there? There's a lot. Of oh, is there? There's a shitload. I can barely taste it. Uh -huh. That's crazy. That's good. That's really good. I'm gonna wipe it down because I'm at dingus. Least, like six shots. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be yeah, fucking plastered by the end of this. I think right. I have a little bit less than yours. <laughs> Trevor was just being a little bitch. So, I so let me show you guys really quick. So I have the what is this? Cadmium yellow. Titanium white, and I have the thallo green. I'm going to start my base off with the thallo green. If I can find my good white brush here. Um, there's specific brushes that you're supposed to be doing this with, but really, as long as it gets the job done, that's all that really matters. We're going to take this thallo green here, and we're just going to pull it nice and thin. Right? Just like so. Nice and thin. All right? You want to get both sides of the brush, and... Once you get it nice and covered, you're going to take your brush and just wiggle it on down there like so. You want to get that in between the, the bristles. Because you want this paint to last you as many miles as it can. Because you're going to come back and you're going to use more of this green a little bit later. Is this dry yet? Yeah, dry enough. Mm, I'm almost wondering if I should go even bigger with this. No, no, no. This should be fine. Yeah, I'm just gonna come in with a nice green in the back here, just to get it started. Get a little more paint on the brush. Now, the nice thing about working with oil, and this is something I was always afraid of. I'm going to need more thallo green, by the way. I was totally underestimating how much I was going to use. Um, but the nice thing about oil is that it remains in its wet state for a very, very long time. I've got paintings that I have in my basement that I painted about two months ago, maybe more, and they're still wet. So if you make a mistake with oil... The nice thing is you can buff it out using something else. I got a lot of black in here. Oh, there we go. 
when you can always thin it out more. You see, I got a little heavy there. But as we thin it out, that beautiful green comes out too. And we just keep moving that oil on down. We are going to need the bigger brush though. This bad boy right here. Which is always fun to use. You want to know where you get these? You get them $2 at Home Depot. Really good deal. You go to an art store and try to get these, they're like 5 10 bucks. You go out to Michael's, they're like 20 Alright, I'm going to get my bristles covered up with as much of this paint as I can right now. Which might not be enough. Yeah, see how that's coming out there just like so? Yeah, definitely gonna need more. Now, an important thing to remember when you're working with oil, always try to work in a well-ventilated area. So one of the number one ingredients that you use, especially for cleaning brushes, is turpentine. I use the Green Envy because it was on sale, but you can really just use any turpentine. But you can also mix that in with your paint too. Mixing in paint thinner will make it dry a lot faster, right? You're turning from like a couple weeks to maybe a couple of days, your painting will be dry to the touch, depending on how much paint you use within your mixture. Now, we're not using that right now because I don't want thinner colors. I want to have a thicker, bolder color. And something that we can use to achieve that is glycoline gel. So I'm going to show you how to use the glycoline gel here in a minute, once we get our base here down. Yeah, see, the bigger brush is working out better. Noisier for sure, but... I can actually set this down. I don't need to be holding up so much. Thoughts on a mullet? You like the mullet, Layman? I like the mullet, man. I've never felt more American in my life. Let me tell you. So let me show you really quick what I just did. Over on this side of the painting, I've got a really dark spot. But over here, it gets a bit lighter, right? I want to move this, and this is why I like the oil, because it's still liquid form. It's not dried on there. It's staining the, the acrylic behind it, but the main oil itself can still be moved around. I can take this dark spatch where I went a little too hard, and I can move it on out. And it clears up, and I can put that somewhere else. Oop. I can get better control over my canvas. I'm going to take some more of that green, but we're going to make it a hair darker. So we're going to take some, let's see if I can find my half used. Here we go. Ivory black. And we've already got the green all spread out here, so we can just plop it down in there.
and we'll get some more of our green. And we want to go heavier on the green because we're going to do a darker foresty background in the back. So go heavy on your green. Should be like a one to two ratio, maybe even a one to three ratio. Because you don't want to make it black. You want to make it a darker green. You've accidentally grown one? That's unfortunate, I man. Sucks to be you. <laughs> I think this is going to look good. Not going to lie, it's grown on you. That's good. I'm glad you like it. It's grown on you. Hold on, you piece of shit. <laughs> right, they're just gonna come in. And don't worry if you cross over that line too much, because we're gonna blend the, the lines of reality before your very eyes here in a moment. Let's we'll see what I mean. Do it like this. And put some pressure into it too. Don't be afraid to get a little bit of paint on yourself. Make sure you're not wearing your school clothes or anything. Just, you know, set yourself up to have fun with it. That's all that really matters at the end of the day. And oil paint washes off the skin so well. All right. Now we're just gonna gently right over it just to blend it all together and get rid of any weird brush marks that we've got. There we go. And now we can set this aside as we'll have to clean it. I don't really have a way to clean these right now, so they'll be fine for a minute. My girlfriend I'm getting one. Now that I've actually brought one, she hates, she likes it. You know, my girlfriend was weird about the mullet too. For the longest time, I've been begging her. I was like, come on, just let me get a mullet. She always say, no, no, you can't get one. You look dumb. And then I finally got my sister to do one for me and, and cut it up. And she came home and she's like, you know what? It's not that bad. And I go, that's what I've been saying. The mullet is not that bad. It's superior, honestly. I, it's a lot better than that long hair I had. Scooch this over this way? No. This way. All right, let's grab our palette again. We're going to go back to the yellow ochre, right? No, cadmium yellow, not yellow ochre. We're going to go back to the cadmium yellow. And let's get ourselves a nice, fine little brush. Because we're going to do little dollops here. Mm. Actually, I'm going to use this brush. We'll use this brush. Nice little dollops. Now, ideally, you want to be using... A pinpoint brush. Uh, right now I'm going to be using this one. And I'll show you how to do this. We're going to paint little dandelions down in here. And what we'll do, just like we were doing before, take your paint and thin it out nice and small. Actually, I'm going to grab some of this glycoline gel too. 
So this is the glycoline gel. Comes out clear, kind of looks like uh, honey. Make sure I got a big tube of it. Yalca gel. I've been saying it wrong. Yalca gel. Comes out clear, kind of like honey. Uh, looks kind of like honey. Does not taste like honey. I don't recommend eating it. But yeah, just get yourself a little glob of it. Just like so. And we're going to cut a hair of this into our paint. Now be extra careful with the glycoline, because do remember, this stuff takes a while for their paint to dry. It will, it will extend that drying time by a lot, but it will give it more bold colors. More liquid colors, if that makes sense. And mix a little more yellow in there. And with the corner of our brush, just gonna pop a few daisies in there. Just hiding out in the grass. Some of them are gonna be kind of big. I'm sure as hell ain't the last of the season. But we're just doing a little gardening today. I have not, but you guys made some for Jess, and I was like, fuck, I need some too. She ate it all up. She loved that shit. Here we go. That's looking pretty good right now. But our dandelions are looking a little exposed, and I think they need a little more brush. So let's go ahead and paint some grassy friends up in here, too. We're going to use the same green that we were using earlier, the darker background with it. And we're going to make lighter shades of it with the white. And just want to barely nudge it. Get it in there. And this is bringing us back to a more happier green color. Let's see. All right. And we're going to take our brush and sharpen it. So when you move it across the palette like so, if you see on the screen there, if you just gently move it across like that in a back and forth motion, what you're doing is you're sharpening your blade. And you want to have this as sharp as possible. And you're going to pick a point and just give some grass there. Give the dandelions some friends to hang out with. And don't go too heavy with it. Grass might be social, but it doesn't like to stick out. You like that? And we're just going to put some lines here and there. Really give it some depth. Resharpen my blade here. Try not to hit any of your dandelions, because they aren't going to be dry. I can tell you right now. We'll get a little more white to mix in there. And the grass is looking too uniform. And we just move on to a lighter shade until we hit the spot where we feel like, hey, that's enough. Ooh.
Hi, Jess. Did she call you? No. Is she watching? She was watching. She might be. Uh, I don't know. What do you call a cow with two legs? Lane beef. What do you call a cow with no legs? Ground beef. He <laughs> <laughs> yuck yuck yuck. He's <laughs> mauling and watching the screen. I can't believe he's doing this. What? <laughs> Pastures are hard. There's a lot of grass in pastures. And that's kind of what we're going for here is a nice pasture. We love grass. We love grass. Let's go ahead and mix it on in there. We don't really need to be shy about it. We know each other. Really load up that brush. Quick passes everywhere. She's mowing right now. That's what she says. She's mooing. That was lame. That was a dumb joke. I'm glad somebody liked it. Let's mix a little bit of yellow in there, too. I'm feeling really adventurous right now. Really brave. Now I'm just taking the tip, the very tip of the brush, just and I'm just making brief lines through here, just to give it a, a bit more texture, almost as if I'm making an illusion, tricking you guys into thinking I'm good at painting. Or we just making brief grass lines in there. You'll see spots pop up. All kinds of things. And you want to change your say, uh, angles up, too. You don't want to have them all be the same angle. Because no, no grass is uniform. Grass does its own thing. Grass is a crazy crap. Crap? Cat. That's what I meant to say. Got a little bit of green mixed in the yellow there. That'd be fine. All right, mooing. Now, I'm not very good at drawing animals. No. I don't. I don't really know how to paint animals all that well either. So this is a kind of a new thing for me. All right. We're going to take our knife. This is a paint knife right here. I don't know exactly what this one's called, but they come in a different styles, all kinds of different styles like this one. I like to use them for mixing paint, but these straight ones are really good too. You just kind of run through, cut off your canvas, because you want to get as much texture as you can in there. I 
I know this isn't translating up very well for the camera, but this will look good in a minute. It's, it's one of those things you got to be like right up and close in person to really get the detail. But I like it. Let's get this guy up here. Let's get uh, some of our glycoline gel here. Glycod, glycod gel, fucking whatever you want to call it. Let's mix this in with our green. We're going to start working on the foresty background, the woodsy background back here. I want to tone that up a lot more. See how nice and fluid that color is looking right there? Grab a little more from up there. Just kind of put it where we need it. Hey, 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 you fucking piece of shit. Hold on, let me finish this up and then I'll take another swig. Absolutely not. You must drink now. Get a lot of paint up in this corner. We're gonna move it down. Let's thin it out. Put some right here. Oh yeah. Layman? I'll give you fucking something to drink here in a minute, I swear to god. Drink my ass. Whoo! Alright. Chug of the common. Oh, Strong, you can be a little bitch. Oh, that's good. That's I love good. how you're like, there's no alcohol in this. <laughs> I didn't taste it the first time, it just tastes like straight up. Let's do what you want. <laughs> I'll do it. No, I didn't taste it. Well, I only took a sip that first time. They get all over the place. <laughs> Some moonshine lately. Oh, it does sound pretty good. Look, I got the flake all over me. You see in the shimmer. Look, I'm like the... I'm like a little fairy. I'm gonna come and snatch your teeth. Alright. Alright, so the brush I was talking about, the brush in question is a fan brush. These are my favorite brushes. I was always terrified of them too. I hate using these in acrylic because acrylic dries way too fast and it ruins these brushes. I was wasting money on money on these. Both oil... This is my best friend. That's why I found my pinpoint. All right. <clears throat> so we're gonna come up through here. Let's get ourselves uh, amount of titanium white almost. Not this. I need the ivory black. Actually, you know what? Let's do lamp black. 
Kevin, would you be a deer? Thank you. Whoa. It's going to get a generous little helping there. Oh, there we go. Now, the fan brush is incredibly flimsy. Look at that. You've got barely any substance to it whatsoever. And when you go and you grab onto your paint, it doesn't grab very well. So we're just going to kind of beat it into it. So we can start getting straight lines out of this, right? Now, let me see here. We'll add some of this. Just to keep that green texture in there. And the glycol will help us keep it all nice and fluid. But we're just going to paint some brush up in the back here. Paint some shadows along with it as well. And give it uh, some shapes, point it in some odd directions. Just want to keep it somewhat ambiguous right there in the background. So the more detail we add, the more detail we've really got to add. So the goal is you don't want to have that much detail. Let me get my paint thinner out real quick. Any old jar. Any old paint thinner. This has not been opened yet. This is brand new. Ugh. As I cut into it for the very first time. And you're just going to put your brush into it. Now, this stuff is pungent. Thank you. So, like I was saying, keep it in a well-ventilated area. Make sure you've got airflow around you. We've got the fan going because I anticipated that. If it smells too much for you guys, I can move it. Swig. <laughs> Make sure I didn't get any paint on myself. All right. Now, what we'll do... This one can go in there, too. This is top. There it goes. This one is so good. We're going to clean off our brush here real quick. Now, I don't have a... Uh, safe place to, because, you know, if you watch Bob Ross, he's always like, you gotta beat the devil out of it, you gotta beat it like your dick, boys, you know? Um, I don't really have a way of doing that, so I'm just brushing it into the brush or the rag like so. I want to get as much of that green off there as I can that we were using earlier. And it's not going to be perfect, I mean, I don't know how well that shows up. You still see hints of green up there in the tents, or up in the tips. But do a quick check. If it's not too green, you're fine. You're good, bruh. All right. 
Let's get some of that paint thinner on there. You're going to learn how to spread out paint thinner real thin. I just realized I said I've been in the mood for some moonshine cow. Mmm. Fucking layman over here making jokes. Okay, now I want this to be watery. Like thin watery. Because I want the background to show up through it as well. Now, I don't know what I'm doing, by the way. I'm just kind of hoping for the best. I, I just want you guys to all know that. Looks great. Does it look great? I'm just going to splash some grain up in here. That's really heavy on the turpentine. I did not like that. It's not what I intended, but we'll go with it anyways. I'll just get in between the trees. How about that? Happy little trees, right. I'm trying to give this as much of a foliage texture as I can here. Yike, erroneous. Look, guys, I fucked up. We'll be fine. Here's what I can do instead. If we just keep beating this like so, and we'll get something out of it. Well, you never really know where it's going to go either. Let's see where this goes. What's that? Exactly. You beat it like the red-headed stepchild. You beat it like your meat, boys, just as Bob Ross would say. Eh, this ain't too bad. Oh, and you get some nice, like, little music out of it, too. I don't know how well that picks up on stream there. It's probably like, blah, 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 blah. You know? Probably sounds like shit. Or it might be some ASMR thing. Who knows? Never thought you were gonna get a little ASMR pleasure today, did you? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Just like that guy said. Hmm. I get all the spots in between here. I was disappointed when we started, but like, it's not too bad. Get my hand out of there. Yikes. All right. Now we'll sit here. We'll let this rest for a bit. Now, the cow is a lot bigger than the grass, so, of course, cow tramples grass. I mean, you guys ever played cow grass dandelion? <laughs> <laughs> so you put your, you'll put your cow over everything. I'm a little worried this might not work out for us. You don't put butter? Um, no, when's the last time you ever seen a cow get its ass kicked by grass? <laughs> This is not working out great, though. I need to move my reference image a little bit closer.
Sometimes you just get off. Uh, probably like six. This isn't working out like I was hoping it would. Yeah, we're gonna go a different direction. <laughs> We're going to thin this out here in a minute. I'm just kind of exploring right now with my smaller needle size brush. I'm seeing what shapes kind of call out to me. Because obviously, I don't know what shape a cow is. Cow shape. Cow shape, yeah. No, actually, it's chicken shape. Is it chicken shaped? Oh, did they change that? Yeah. It's a poodle, you know. It's not planet, it's a planet. It's a planet, yeah. God damn it. A government conspiracies. Okay, I'm kind of getting an idea here, actually. Let's go ahead and... Yeah, just like that. Let's make it a little wider down here, too. Are we gonna sell these at the craft shop? Sure. Yeah? Why not? You know what we're going to do? Do something really risky here. Let's grab our knife and go ahead and we'll just cut this paint flat. Because we're mixing on a lot of green from underneath, and I want to keep this a nice, almost vibrant white. Almost vibrant.
the parents' house and I walked to the house and I was already at the house. And then my mom was like, we oh, have two of them now. You should be not going to the house. I'm like, I've been here for like three hours. <laughs> All right. Let's get some more grass in there. I've been waiting. I've been anticipating so much more grass. We're going to go hard on grass now. Grass is one of my favorite things to paint, by the way. I mean, all my paintings I try to do paint are not that one. But I always try to do some grass in it. Where'd my dagger go? So I'm trying to be careful to hit this, because I want this to dry out a bit more. I'm going to add a bit more detail to it. 
and I'm gonna paint grass around it. And I want this to be more engulfed in the grass. That's the thing I like most about point, uh, not pointing, painting. <clears throat> Is that I don't have a boss. I don't have anybody telling me what to do. I can just do whatever the fuck I want. I am my own boss. I am the asshole of management. And I demand more grass. Mm. I'm running out of green here. This some more thicker green up in here, more thallow green. Just like before, thinning it out, sharpening our brush, I'm right back into this. Try not to catch any of that green there. I got a little close on my palette or the, the red. Hi, Drake. <laughs> Almost. Well, I barely made a dent in mine. <laughs> I'm you feeling it, Mr. Cribs? Is that toilet paper? Yeah. <laughs> I was hoping somebody would call me out for it. I, I, I gave up on the cow. Cows are too hard. <laughs> toilet paper, not too hard. And if a bear shits in the woods, I mean... What's it going to use? Not toilet paper? It's going to use toilet paper. It's fresh grown off the uh, toilet paper grass. <laughs> See, that's what happens when you leave your grass out too long. It starts to see and it produces toilet paper. It's government conspiracy. They don't want you in on it. So that's why everybody liked all the toilet paper and they weren't able to produce Yeah. It. The, the toilet paper orchards are going dry. Oh, they just yeah. didn't have, uh, yeah, just yeah, unsustainable. Yeah. Warming. World we live in, I tell you what. Uh, do I have any purples? I feel like I need some purple flowers in here. Maybe even some blue flowers. What do you think? Ultramarine blue. That's like a fancy way to say purple. Let's grab just a dollop. Boop. Maybe we can get some uh, scarlet red as well. Do I have scarlet red? Cadmium. Alzarin Crimson. That'll probably be good enough. Thanks. What was that? It's like a dog. Cigarette. Cigarette? <laughs> oh, he's right here, no? It wasn't him. <laughs> so, plant some more flowers around here. I told Kevin that's the only way we're stopping with dogs. They die. 
Is it like you do it like how you do a cigarette and put it in a random spot in the house? That's my favorite thing to do. Stuffed dogs. <laughs> yeah, stuffed dogs. <laughs> What was uh, you guys? Uh, what was that one skit that they had? It was like Big Ed's taxidermy and alimony joint or something like that. Guy, it was it used to be an old Adult Swim thing? Or some fuck? That's gonna drive me crazy. Uh, that's too bad. Maybe a few more blades of grass and then we'll call it good there. And this will sell for millions on the black market. Why the black market? Well, the white market doesn't go so high. They, I mean, maybe a few bucks. Is it because it's illegal way? Yep. Hold on, I thought you said, where's my dad there for a minute? Dad? I was like, oh, dad? Dad? Is that you, dad? I think I could just come home and crawl like super drunk. Trying to the shit out of her. Oh, she's gonna flip. She like, really where's my drink? Why don't I get one? I need something to drink. Ooh! That Mia almost makes it worse. <laughs> it's like gentle at first, and then it's like, oh, but wait. Yeah. Oh. Let's move this up here. Yeah, that's how you expect you to keep on no, I know, it was pretty good. Over there. You just put vodka and coffee and you call it good. Maybe add a, a hint of milk. But that makes it a white Russian, don't it? So, I don't know what's right, but I grew up understanding that vodka, milk, and Kahlua is a white Russian, and vodka, um, Irish cream, and Kahlua was a black Russian. So the difference being either cream or no. once alcohol is not. I mean, if you're putting Irish cream in that, shouldn't that be like a Dublin or something like that? I, I don't know alcohol. I don't drink alcohol. I'm a. You're a saint. I'm a saint. I'm actually a uh, fun fact. I'm I'm Amish. What's in the cup? <laughs> What's in the cup? What's in the it's cup? Cool, eh? <laughs> Want a sip? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> this is the only kind of Kool Aid I'm gonna drink. It's yours. Kool Aid, Kool Aid. It's red drink. Oh, guys, check this out. Look at this fucking top A genuine painting. That's a cow, all right. The light doesn't do it any justice. Hey, you want to flip the switch really quick? Here's the uh. Oops. All right. I think I'm using. This one's not. Is this the one I was it. using? Yeah, that's fine. All right. So you got your green. You want a darker green? Okay. So let's grab. Yeah, that looks really good now. Do you got darker green? Um. This was the green that I was using. Let's see if I might have just like a that green. What is that? Blue. Not green. I don't know, I'm running out of colors. What? <laughs> Touch it. Sour apple. Oh. Holiday green. It's kind of like a bolder green. Thank <laughs> you. 
Jen asked me that one. It was Jen. Sorry, Jess asked me. Jen did that one, yeah. All right. Take this. You can come over here. And we're going to take a straight edge. Not this. Not this. Hold on a second. Where is my straight edge? That's, uh, is that oil? That's a wheel. Hey there. We want to do this one. All right. Well, I'll show the camera here real quick. So this is an angled straight edge. And acrylic is a little different from um, oil. So let me grab, let me show you on my hand here. So you can't really sharpen your, your, uh, brush like you can of oil. So you try to sharpen it up on the edge or think of it like a soft rock and you're just going to take it from the tip and just kind of brush it down like so. See how that would kind of form up into grass. You add your little lines. It works better on the acrylic, on the right. paper, but you'll see it. I'm going to try it. All right, Jen. It's all of you. Okay. I'll turn the light on for you, too. Let's give you a little more space here. <laughs> is that dark enough? Mm -hmm. Or is it not really showing up? Eh, pick a pick a spot and just kind of sprout grass from it. Upwards or downwards? Downwards. So here, think of it like this, right? Imagine like you got a spot right there, and you think a little tuft of grass so you set right there, and just a couple right down to the point where you want it to be. Yeah, look at that. Give it a different angle. Grass is wild; it does what it wants. And let that follow that straight edge along too. There you go. Look at that. Getting some grass up in this bitch. Somebody call Jess because we need a lawnmower. <laughs> <laughs> you like that? Where'd mine go? Let's set it down over here. It's good, man. It's good. I'm a little, I'm a little disappointed in the crumble because it was. It, so the day I made it was like fucking 93 and humid, and we have our AC turned off now. No more AC until you know next summer. It's getting expensive, and it was just like fucking hot. So I'm trying to like get the butter to crumble and everything, and it's it's starting to melt on me. And I was like, "Fuck it, you know, just let it do its thing." I try to crumble it in my hands while it's still malleable. So you'll see the crumble looks goofy as shit on top of it. What's that? What do I usually stream? Uh, I'm trying to make Thursdays going to be a more regular thing. Um, definitely this. I like the, and plus I can get more paintings out there this as well. And then I want to keep the weekends so just like after I get out of work or whatever, I do streams later at night, play some games. Usually I do like baby games or some bullshit ass shit, you know? Thank you. 
This is game I used to play back in like elementary school. It's like simple machines or something like that. Okay. Like put a little bit down, put things, put a down. I was saying. What was it like one of those? Uh, do you remember? You remember like Newgate or New, uh, no? What was it called? Uh, Congregate. Congregate.com or not Doppler or uh, you know Newgrounds. You used to go there. We used to get like flash games and shit. No, not Candy Crush. No, no, no. no. I think they used to. It used to be like an old Candyland. No, Dude, hey, those games used to be like they hit different when you were younger. Yeah, you know. Now you play them as an adult. It's like, man, these games suck ass. I like the I like the one where you were a stick figure on a toilet and you were trying to make the big jump while riding the shitter. That one was that was my favorite. Man, I'm dying over here. Did you stay in our game? Maybe. Yeah, look how that uh, that texture changes it like night and day. That's amazing. Jen, you gotta say some Bob Ross, Bob, Bob Ross ass things. Um, happy little Happy little grass blades. Each individual one has a name. What's her, what's her names? Yeah, Good. Roger, Ryan, Rachel, Reynolds, uh, <laughs> Bob, <laughs> um, Jennifer, Kevin, Trevor. <laughs> Jessica, Anne, Linda, Jack. Brad, Caleb, <laughs> Jacob, Leon, Max, Jack, Jax, Jackson, Jonathan, um, <laughs> um, Brandon, Darren, Dylan, Derek, Dan, Danny, Daniel, Jimmy, Jimmy. <laughs> Caleb, Candace, Chris, Christopher, uh, Calvin, Devin, Frederick, Fred. She really is naming Fred, every blade of Aaron, grass. <laughs> Aaron, Alex, Alexander, Alexandria. Um, see, you just have to name every single one because they all have their own little personalities. And what was that third one you did there? Yeah, what was the fourth one actually? That what was, was what was this one? That one was Oliver and Olivia. Ah, and that one's Philip. It's a Siamese grass blade, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so you can just just have to keep going. But only in your head, though, because other people might get really annoyed. <laughs> <laughs> remember cows? <coughs> they're great to draw because they're happy little new cows. Um, it really helps if you just 
are a fucking hater, man. It's like, if you hate cows, then I'm assuming you just hate life. What's the cow's name? Coffee was named Millie Moo. Millie Moo. What about the pigs that identify as cows? Those are whites. Whites? <laughs> Oh, we gotta add some clouds. Uh, we'll be all done. Ooh, clouds are fun. I don't know. Let's do clouds. Which which brush should I use for clouds? Uh, what you could do here. Actually, I'm gonna give you this. Your browns. Yeah, I'm gonna give you the the pal. Put this on your pocket. My pocket. Yep. There you go. Pass this over your shoulder. Boom. Talk Or actually, you know what we could do? Okay, that. I got a better idea. Because you don't really have anything to do. Uh, there. <laughs> Just speak into that. I wanted to add some game to too. shoot. What's going on with this cow? Yeah, I some yellow. Sure, that's fine. What is everybody doing today? Joe, Joe, Mama. Yeah, what are you? What are you fucking doing, Anne? Wait, don't you got better things to do? Yeah. 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 Just what they do. Right, so what brush do I use to make dandelions and clouds? Um, so, so if you want to make dandelions, keep, keep them small. I would use... Uh, I'm going to use this a cat that identifies as a cow. Mm-hmm. Yo, what was that? Ooh, thank you for the bit styles, you fucking god damn it, Paul. Oh, shit, the thing is behind the thing. The thing is behind the thing. Yo, thank you for the bit styles. We appreciate that. Well, I, I, I don't speak for them. Right. <laughs> I speak for the trees, and the trees speak in the Alright, just take that. All right. Get a little yellow on it. Thin it out, dab it. Repeat. You mean thin it out like rub it? Yeah, you don't want too much paint on your brush, but you want enough to make a mark. There you go, that's good. I'm telling you, it looks just like cake. Like cake? It does. It's like a spitting image of the cat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're giving me a take for it. Yeah, you gotta keep your eyes open. We like teddy bears. We're only with teddy bears. Ah, I have some happy little dandelions here. Yeah, these guys. Hey, we appreciate your styles, bro. Thank you for stopping by. Except, you know, you're gonna stick around, right? You're gonna skip out on us, are you? Yeah. Those are looking great. Yeah, they just kind of invade all over. Well, that's, that's what they are. They're yeah. weeds, aren't they? Yeah. Well, t- what animal. is a weed, though? A weed is just a plant we don't want in our garden. Yeah. Dandelions aren't actually weeds, not to me. I, love I want them all. Our neighbors are going to hate us when we dandelion seeds all over their yard. <laughs> <laughs> those styles, you can totally do this, man. I bet you probably, like, a closeted super painter or some shit. You probably got, like, mad Bob Ross skills. Mm-hmm. 
And really, painting's not that hard, you know? You just gotta kinda do it. What they say, the... Do you guys ever watch Adventure Time? Yes. yes. Remember Jake the Dog? He always said, and this resonates with me, the first step to being sorta of good at something is being sorta of bad at it. Yeah. Truth. Mm -hmm. I, live my, I live my life by those words. You know, Siles, you keep tuning. You do. I tell you what, you tune in every Thursday. I'm going to be doing this next week too, and we'll paint something different. And I'll teach you new techniques. You ask me something, dude. I'll teach you how to paint it. That's my little promise to you, baby. Even if it's just a little bit of detail, it still makes. Right, all art is valid. Yeah. No, thank you for the bits. Thank you, thank you. Alright. Alright, now how do I do the clouds? Okay. So you have two ways to do clouds. Do you want nice big fluffy clouds yeah. or do you want stormy clouds? Yeah, I want Not clouds. stormy clouds, but more cut. So you want stormy clouds, you're gonna want a lot of brush. So, with your round brush, <clears throat> you're going to get that. Well, you want to get wet. You get wet? You get wet. Alright. And then, just get your dribbles off. Just There you go. Get your white. Thin it out against the palette. Alright. Because you want it to be thin. You want that color to be almost transparent. Right? Okay, let me see this real quick. Because you're going to be tricky because you've run it flat now. You're going to dab it out. Right? You want to keep as few sharp edges on that as possible. So I'll twist and shout. That's good enough. I'm just going to. You see what I mean? Got to make the noise too. Nice and light. Nice and light. Yeah. Look at those rascally clouds. They're just going ham on it. Oh, that's looking great. <laughs> it helps. It helps. That actually it really helps. helps. You guys have no idea. I think I got too much white on there. That's hey, no problem because you just grab it from the center and keep moving it out. Yeah, just that, just like that. Really want to get the white, so add a little twist to the brush a bit, just a boop, boop, boop. Yeah, not nothing too heavy, just enough to mix up the monogamy. Because after a while, all your dabs start to look the same. You'll see the pattern, you stare at it long enough. So it helps blend that version all together. I love that. Hi, I think it's good. That's amazing. One. Honestly, I think that's the best choice for me all time. Look at that. It's perfect. I'm saying draw a cow. <laughs> it's amazing. 
It's better than my cow. My cow didn't turn out so good. <laughs> you have to hang this up now. It's going in my living room. Thank God for probably you gotta sign it. Yeah, sign it. Yeah, you gotta sign it. Yeah. What do you want to sign it with? You want to use a color? A what? If you're gonna use a brush. I would use a um, brush. Just as where's the spells? Right there. Right there. Let's see. It's, it's hard to tell you from, from the picture. Maybe if you bring it closer to the camera. Oh yeah, you do have a good point here. Let's go ahead and pull this up. It is a bit bright. But the way the light hits, actually. Well, I forget the camera's over here. Oh, there you go. Right, right here. Turn the light off. Your hand back there. Yeah, I can't get my fat hand back there. Alright. Should work out better because there's less glare. Uh, yeah, that's a little bit better. I need to get shakes for a bit. Oh, I'd like to do it. Too. We'll get it eventually. Can I hold it? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it looks alright. Let's put it in here. We have to sign it, yeah. You gotta sign it. Sign it and date it. Lines of the post, yes. Where am I signing it? Anywhere you want. Uh, it says the fifth, right? No, no, no. no. Two, seven. So nine, seven. Right. Look at that. Terrible signature. It's fine. Hey, you want know to see some of my? See some of my smaller canvases where I did the brush. It's fucking awful. All right, everyone, Perfect. round of applause for Jen, who's done some painting. You know, I think we've had a lot of fun today. Hope you guys had fun today, too. We'll be back. We'll do this uh, next week. I don't know if you can hear me. I'm not even facing the microphone anymore. Um, we'll come back next week. We'll do some more. Drop your shit down in my Discord. I swear to God, if I get more people, anything that's dropped in my Discord, I'm going to show it all off. And I want to show off everyone's art. You know, I want to see. I want to see a lot more people get involved with this because well, it's like one of the last true human cultures. It's, it's art. It's the one thing that we all do. So we're gonna call it there, though. We kind of ran out of things to do today. I was kind of hoping to run this till five, but I don't have enough time to start another painting, and I don't have enough uh, content to keep it filled for another hour. But I hope you guys had a lot of fun. Be sure to check out their. Um, uh, Facebook and everything. Here, I'm going to pull that up again. If you didn't see the first half of the stream, uh, we talked a lot about uh, Jan and Kevin's crochet and everything like that. So let me um, let me pop them up in there really quick. Take a screenshot. Take a picture. You know, do whatever you need to do. Go check out their Facebook. There we go. Yeah, go check out their Facebook. It's down in this box right here. Uh, scan that QR, do whatever you need to do. They're great people, and they do great work, and, you know, they're they're amazing. 100%. Uh, it's been a great time, everyone. I love you guys. Uh, I'm not going to do a stream this weekend. I'm going camping. But I'll see you next Thursday. We're going to do this all over again. All right? Let me get the, uh, the end music going up here. It's